Scorpio, welcome to your reading. Love and light to you all here. Oh, you're in the zone, baby. You are focused. I'm hearing you are one with the intention that you wish to set. I'm hearing Scorpio, Sagittarius. Now, you came through strongly in the Sagittarius reading, Scorpio, and um, I was meditating your energy. By the way, this is your June 2019 reading. <laughs> Welcome to it, dear Scorpio, and thank you all so much for tuning and connecting here to you. Enjoy. I'm hearing this period. I'm hearing it's filled with love. I'm hearing it's your life. I'm hearing unfolding before your eyes. And I'm seeing that for a number of you that um, you've been... Um, waiting so long for this for this for this experience i'm seeing it as an experience like a space in which you have kind of like been acclimating to like even like in your mind yeah i'm hearing there have been certain experiences emotionally that you've been working through but it's been more so a matter of how we get our rational mind on board with what we're feeling emotionally and for a number of you this has to do with what you've been thinking about speaking out about in a very public way or it's just to simply to someone who you've felt that there's been a little uh, a little bit of a weird game of timing i'm hearing in that way the judgment card and the death card and the sun of swords now this energy came through specifically in the sagittarius reading you do have the ace of swords as well for a number of you scorpio i'm seeing that you're like you're you're it's like this i'm seeing that for a number of you you might have been kind of like feeling that you were tested in your own space of like testing someone else like that's so weird right but like okay i'm hearing like, it's a reflection here i'm hearing as well the ace of wands splitting from the main stack i'm seeing that here for a number of you there was something that you felt was a really big deal okay like i can't just like waltz my way onto the stage and imagine i'm hearing that the world is going to work i'm hearing after the party i'm hearing as well that we announce this all at i'm not sure what the learning did but like there's something that you felt needs needs time i'm hearing needs work I'm hearing takes time. It takes work to kind of. Mm, I'm hearing motivate also. Uh, I'm hearing. Uh, I'm hearing your mind to work on. Interesting, Sagittarius. I'm hearing strongly. Now there's something perhaps even that is related to the way that you physically embody this emotional space. To say that this exact energy came through in the Sag reading it was like, you know, there is let's say a very clear understanding of what we feel. There is a very strong feeling space perhaps as well. But what it is that kind of reflects that space emotionally that we then kind of are able to communicate about in a clear way then becomes the focus and perhaps has been why there's been a little bit of stalling here. I'm seeing for a number of you there has been um, a really long waiting game. Judgment, the Hierophant, Ace of Swords finally coming through. The Hierophant's in reverse, the Judgment card is upright. I'm seeing for a number of you that there's been a really like a difficult conversation perhaps that you've been feeling like I need to have it. <laughs> I'm hearing even if I don't feel like uh, I can even uh, kind of like, I'm hearing inhabit that space after I make that, that one, uh, that, that one uh, move, I'm hearing that one also announcement. I'm not sure what this will do Scorpio, but I'm seeing there's something of a little bit of like a, a tower moment. I'm hearing specifically in the way that you feel you, again, you are being tested in the space of revealing, I'm hearing your version of the story. Here comes the hanged man with the sun. You could be dealing with a Pisces, someone who's been really, I'm hearing like, I'm hearing your princess from the start. I'm not sure what that's alluding to, but someone who you feel like when I met this person, oh, do you see the fool? The way it wanted to remain in my hand like that. This is someone who you, I'm hearing, you did not let go of. You may have also had a vision about this person, like, big time, okay? Like, be it even a dream, like, there was something. Like, I'm hearing when you undress them in the powder room, I'm hearing everything, including the powder, felt... I'm hearing practiced, okay? Like, I don't know what, like divinely guided, let's just say it in that way, Scorpio. Now the feeling is that we don't feel, I'm hearing the future when we are thinking about it. I'm seeing that specifically for a number of you where you must, there's this, there's this, um, this, this, this kind of like this, this, uh, this duality I'm hearing specifically in the way that you kind of you you address what this is whatever this is this very again strong feeling space or this ability also of yours where you're like i see things and i know things i'm hearing as well and i don't know if that's something that i feel i should also kind of like directly address i'm hearing in a public way now for a number of you i'm seeing that this has to do with a certain um uh, i'm hearing also degree of interest that you are thinking about pursuing i'm hearing legal legal here comes the justice card in reverse the daughter of swords in reverse for a number of you this is something that you have been i'm hearing like 
story I'm hearing writing a story about as well. It could be also be a screenplay, something that you've been again taking a lot of time to kind of like even research. I'm hearing hermetic studies. Here comes the Father of Pentacles and the Six of Cups and the Four of Wands. Now, there's a practical side to this. Yes, I'm hearing as emotional as and fantastical and visionary and imaginative as it is. I'm hearing Jupiter still needs. I'm hearing Saturn to jump around. Uh, I'm hearing on the I'm hearing on the Hossy bounce. I don't know what this is alluding to, but I'm seeing like actual like I'm seeing an uh, what is it with those blow up um I'm not like a trampoline but like the things that jump the that uh, the kids jump uh in um it's like the 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 like a like a like a blow up playground like I don't know but whatever it is such hair is uh, such hair is Scorpio I'm seeing like I'm seeing it as like you know like you could have the kid who's ready and waiting to to, to kind of enter also into this space. I'm hearing Arcade. I'm hearing Arcadia. I'm hearing specifically. It's like, I can't wait. I'm hearing Convention as well. I'm not sure what that's alluding to again. But it's like, you, it, it could be a space of presentation. But at the end of the day, it's like, we need, we need, we need the, the community I'm hearing as well, who's going to kind of support it. Now that could be the feeling that you kind of have had or the feeling of another. And for a number of you, there is, um, the space of intention that we feel is to have direction I'm hearing in relation to a certain also community. I'm hearing social space where it's like, it's not enough to have this ability. I'm hearing also of mine. I need to apply it within the context of who might kind of be most receptive to it. Okay, now for number I'm seeing that you're perhaps wanting to market a certain good and you're wondering, you know, where is it going to really kind of take off? And for another number of you, I'm seeing that there's uh there's been a lot of thinking here okay with the mother of cups looking down at the eight of swords a lot of like i'm hearing like there's a i'm hearing emotion okay like capital e m o t i o n n i'm hearing n n n n s okay and i'm not sure what those are looking to but we say as you well it's like yeah emotions here comes a hanged man yeah you could be dealing as well with someone else who's got a lot of emotion in addition to the emotion that you feel uh, for a number of you. And it's weird that we're kind of drawing that distinction, but I'm seeing that for a number of you, there's been this question of like, what do we do with the emotion? Okay. And I'm seeing you kind of like getting very clear on how there is, let's say a space of experience emotionally that is to kind of connect. Okay. It's like, yeah, I'm hearing you. I'm hearing you. Like I'm seeing you looking at someone like you look, you have emotion and I have emotion. Okay. You are, I'm hearing also uh, your own, I'm hearing uh, being, I'm hearing entity. And so, am I. I'm hearing we, we both. I'm hearing our dancers and we both need to swing on stage. Now we need to be in sync. Yeah. I'm hearing, there's no question about that. We need to feel that we are. I'm hearing also, I'm hearing receptive to how the audience is. I'm hearing acknowledging our dance. I'm hearing our sequence, but that doesn't mean that we are, uh, I'm hearing to alleviate the, uh, I'm hearing the proposal altogether. I'm not sure what that's alluding to. Again, there's some, yes. Okay. For number, this is a very practical sort of question here that you're now kind of arriving at with the father of pentacles, the judgment card and the fool. It's kind of like, you know, okay, we have this, we have this again, intense feeling, but it's like, how are we going to kind of also capture that in words? I'm hearing specifically for a number of you, but also in, in terms of how we address it even professionally or financially for a number of you, I'm seeing there is a question of who might be related to this space of even investment. Um, and, uh, it might also be related to a certain actual physical space. So I'm hearing Sagittarius strongly Scorpio. Let's get on with it here. I almost said Sagittarius fully is just flew out and it flew upside down. Like, Ooh, ooh I'm hearing not yet. If you're waiting for someone to make the first move, I'm hearing to say the first word to say, I'm hearing the do before I, I don't know what that is. But some like such a Scorpio I'm hearing specifically again. Um, father cups flying off the table. Like it's not me. I'm hearing, I'm hearing it is not me. Okay. Like someone is, if you're wondering, are they going to be the one who walks home? I'm hearing to meet me so we can talk about the, uh, I'm hearing the mission statement. No, I'm seeing that this is not, this is not, I'm saying someone is not going to be coming, coming, coming through with that kind of news. Okay. And I'm seeing it. If you're wondering, if you're, let's say like the Scorpio, if you're dealing with the Sagittarius, it's got a lot of Pisces in the chart and you're wondering, are they going to like, are they going to like, be the one who like messages me back. I'm hearing as well. Are they going to be the, are they going to message me back? I'm hearing period. Are they going to be the one who, uh, I'm here, but a uh, period, what is period? But I'm seeing like, is it within the context of this, uh, I'm hearing of this, uh, I'm hearing of this portal that we move through. Okay. I don't know what that is alluding to, but like there is perhaps a space of even a timeline that you feel is like if there, there are levels I'm hearing as well of guidance and for a number of you, uh, but I'm hearing of also, um, I'm hearing getting, gaining recognition. Okay. It's like, you know, what, there's a question of balance. I'm hearing, is it even fair? I'm hearing to think that, that, that they would be the ones who first reach out to me. Like something here perhaps 
is not balanced, does not feel balanced. And it might be related here again to even matters that are um, eventually to be communicated about. But the question is kind of like, well, what's, what is the emotional sort of tide that tethers us here to the board that we then ride the wave out with, okay? Whatever way that may meant for an overview, but it's like, you know, I'm seeing a little bit of like a space of, a little bit of like tension. And I'm seeing like two people like, you know, kind of looking at each other, um, but with different, I'm hearing uh, I'm hearing offices in mind that they want to write the same story out. I don't know what this is going to do, but let's backtrack one second. For an overview, this has to do with, um, uh, I'm hearing, um, one second. I'm hearing your, your perception, okay? Like, I'm seeing that someone here has, a t I'm hearing like one kind of idea that they want to talk about, but then another person has like a different idea. But they're, but they're still talking about <laughs> the same class. Like, I don't know what that's alluding to, but I'm always seeing like someone who let's say is in a certain even department of, of affairs. I'm not sure what that's alluding to, but even let's say they study a certain subject. And then, but then they, but they're like, I don't know, they're partnered with someone in the same department, but they're like separate. They're like in, let's say, let's say it like this. Let's say that you have the communications field, okay, department. And it could be academic, yes, but let's just say you've got, it always again, take it as well, but let's say you've got these two subdivisions of the same kind of like broader scope of research or study. Let's say you've got communications in the workplace and then you've got communications in, uh, in, in I'm hearing, I'm hearing parenting, I'm hearing family, I'm hearing in friends, like something like, I don't know, more and more, let's say of a social, social nature. Again, I'm not sure what that's alluding to, but again, always say because you will. And I'm seeing like someone here is like a, I'm hearing, um, has like a master's degree program in how, um, I'm hearing things can be de depicted. I'm hearing in, uh, I'm hearing, I'm hearing soul. I'm hearing soul here. I'm hearing soul deep, soul man, I'm hearing as well. Like there's something that, um, I'm hearing Solomon, yes, very strongly. Now there is a focus on what um, I'm hearing is not just characterized though, okay? It's like there's something that perhaps is, is can very beautifully be. I'm hearing depicted very lovely. I'm hearing, I'm hearing lovingly also be announced to say it in the way that someone may actually, again, be like very good with their words, very poetic, very also seductive. I will say that as well. The emperor coming through with the justice card in reverse, but not in the way of like, hi, I'm hearing I'm the jam to your butter on that piece of toast, honey. Okay. I'm hearing, won't you hold me here with you? It's like, <laughs> Uh, I'm seeing that like it's more so a matter of um, how the emotional space is uh, I'm hearing acted in okay like perhaps someone here actually f is is feels very much I'm hearing vi this emotional space to a level and a degree that is so strong and that might be um, one second they're highly empathic for a number of you wait 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 wait, wait. I'm hearing they're um, they're a leader okay I'm hearing they're they they lead there's something about like leadership here with a high priestess especially that could be an actual intuitor they might be a seer so to speak uh what does it mean to be a seer but um and uh what does it mean to kind of uh um kind of uh, uh you know kind of hold the verb and the and the noun as separate right it's like what does it mean to see to see and what does it mean to be a seer? Okay, I'm just about gonna kind of bring that out there. But the chariot coming through in reverse and the four of wands in reverse as well. Scorpio, I'm seeing it in this way, okay? I'm seeing that there's, um, again, I'm hearing superstitious as well here with the high priestess. Like someone, someone, and it could be your own energy, right? But I'm seeing like that there are, and it could be a certain aspect of how you see yourself channeling your your overall vision. I'm seeing it's like, yeah, you have the really spiritual side of things, right? It's like you have this and it could be the way it's perceived. You have this sort of very clear understanding of uh, the emotional space, okay? Like the, the, the motives. And then I'm seeing like, again, that there's this counteractive space there as it may be perceived. That's more um, kind of like I'm hearing tailored. I'm hearing cut like like calculated and carried out, like production, okay? That has to do with more like, even, con I'm hearing conservative, okay? I'm hearing with the justice card in reverse. Like for a number of you, there's something here that someone feels a little bit even like, how do I, I'm hearing it's clunky. I'm hearing, how do I get like the character to wear the clothes and feel the feelings in the clothes, but not because of the clothes or because of the character that holds the title. I'm hearing that tells them to do that, right? It's like, there's 
there's something, uh, let's say in this way, let's backtrack, and this could be the energy of another if you're dealing specifically with a Pisces. Someone here who really, like, they, 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 I, I don't know how to describe this. Scorpio, it's a little bit like, I'm hearing unruly here, whatever this energy is, and it could be the feeling that you might be having. Like, there's something that I feel like I can't, like, I feel like I can't, talk about but then i also can't talk without it's like i have to include it but then how do i how do i actually include it but do i include it like what does it mean to include something i mean it's like these thoughts kind of like raising scorpio perhaps uh and again it could be a certain even propensity of yours it could be a talent and ability i'm hearing agency okay for number i'm seeing you're wondering how do i address something perhaps formally without really like making it something that it has also meaning because i've addressed it uh in in a certain way at a certain time i'm hearing as well. I was like, how do I maintain? Um, I'm hearing the also the experience as one that feels authentic. I'm hearing in the space of identifying it. Okay, for number, I'm hearing there's something so sacred here, Scorpio. I'm hearing Sagittarius that you're like, I don't want to even define it. Like, I don't want to take it. It's like it's like really interesting. Okay, Scorpio, I've seen a magician on stage. <laughs> Who's like staring at their own sort of like, uh, I'm hearing their own coattails, okay? They're like, they're looking at their like pouch, they're like holding it out and they're like, you know, they're like, do I really need to like, like, I'm hearing, I'm hearing also legal, I'm hearing legal, legally, uh, I'm hearing le legally interact, okay? Like I'm hearing legal, legal enterprise, like someone's feeling like, do I, how do I address, again, like... For a number of you, I'm hearing there's something even having to do with a, with a faith, okay? I'm hearing with the Justice card, it can be religion. What is religion? Always take it as you will. Spiritual, spirituality, always take it as you will. Scorpio, but I'm seeing that um, uh, there is a focus on what you... I'm hearing you feel like I can't... I'm hearing do without it, but I also feel like I can't do with it when I... I'm hearing do it specifically and i don't know what that's alluding to but i'm seeing there's a little bit of like a, a conflicting space of identifying with this energy where you're just like i don't know if it's also i'm hearing i'm hearing me or them i don't know if it's like i'm hearing also meant to be i'm hearing also uh i'm hearing um I'm hearing foreign. I'm hearing international student. I don't know what this is going to do with the lovers and the six of cups, the hyper. This came through in the Gemini reading and big time in the Pisces reading. Like we're talking big time Scorpio. You may want to check out those readings. We feel so guided and compelled, but there's something here that I'm seeing. So like someone is wondering, you know, do we, do we like let it go? I'm hearing as well, or do we just kind of, uh, I'm hearing leap, uh, but I'm not, I'm not, uh, I'm hearing, I'm hearing stop storytelling here. I'm hearing with the lovers and the six of cups. Like there's something that, okay. Oh, Scorpio, let's say in this way. I'm seeing that you're wondering, you know, there is a, there's a very clear connection. Okay, let's not, let's not like pretend like, you know, we're not also braiding their hair. I'm hearing when they're, when they're in the boardroom like that. Again, I don't know what that's alluding to, but someone who was like very clearly interested in someone or a certain space. Now, <laughs> I'm saying, to say in the way of, yeah, fantasizing Scorpio. Now, the feeling though is, you know, what happens in the next stage of this experience and how are we willing to kind of challenge what it has been until this point, be it a fantasy, um, that we're now like kind of getting ready to act on. Wow, what was that sound? I feel like I heard that sound, but I couldn't identify it, but something. Oh, it was the ice, okay. I have this like bowl of ice right behind me, <laughs> melting apparently. And so the pieces are kind of like, they're, it's like a, <laughs> it's like a, um, okay. I'm hearing invitation here with the ace of swords upright and the mother wants reverse. So nobody, there is news coming out. Eight of cups in reverse, father of cups in reverse, mirroring the daughter wants upright. Someone here is giving someone also a certain, uh, I'm hearing like a, I'm hearing a space to tell their story. I don't know what that's alluding to, but for a number of you, you could be dealing with also a certain space energetically that you feel is uh, becoming like way stronger. I'm hearing like way, I'm hearing also way too strong. Like something here about this connection, energetically, emotionally, spiritually, has reached a certain. I'm hearing, I'm hearing bubbling point where it like you can only, you can only, you can only hold so much air in the balloon until it pops, and it's at that point that we begin to play the part. Okay, now for a number of you have seen this has to do with what you've been experiencing again, emotionally, energetically, spiritually, but then the question kind of being, you know, what happens when I'm on stage actually, and I'm holding this character with me, I'm hearing not in my pocket as a letter that I've written to myself, 
but as a person, I'm hearing a personhood, I'm hearing a personality that I prioritize as my person. I'm hearing that I, I'm hearing, I'm hearing hold, I'm hearing, I'm hearing as the demoter of passion. Okay, I'm not sure what that's alluding to, but I'm seeing that it has to do with how you even, okay, for now I'm seeing you're wondering, you know, how can I channel what I feel so deeply about? What happens when I channel it? Okay, for a number of me, I'm seeing there's a little bit of a space of like, no, I'm not seeing it's a confrontation with the concept of confidence, but I am mean, seeing it kind of like, well, you know, what happens when I tell it? I'm <laughs> here specifically, and I'm seeing that you might kind of be wondering, you know, how much do I even participate in that space? So I just kind of like, I'm seeing some kind of question. Do I just write them a letter and then I kind of like email it to them? Or do I like write them an actual letter and then I like, mail it to them or do i like just marry them like, i don't know what this is alluding to but like so i'm it's like do i uh i mean or do i do i message them back here comes the ace of swords right then and there with the ace of cups okay um and let's see if you're thinking about messaging them okay and you're thinking should i message them should i message them should i message them i'm hearing stop your 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 i'm hearing your work i'm hearing your work i don't know what this is with the ace of wands and the ace of swords like stop i'm hearing stop your work i'm hearing you're working i'm hearing your 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 um okay someone here's thinking a lot scorpio like we're talking like a lot okay about how this i'm hearing this letter can not just like be written but yeah, it can also be written, but how it's going to be acknowledged, like how it's going to be received. And I'm seeing someone like kind of like letting go of even a script and they're like, oh, I'm hearing this is my baby. I'm hearing like, oh my gosh. I'm hearing how are they going to, to I'm hearing also bounce back from that space. Interesting. Now I'm seeing for an interview that you may be thinking of, of actually revealing something to someone and it perhaps makes you feel like you don't really understand like the experience i'm hearing the form of expression that your words take on in a, in, a, in, a, in a collaborative way here with the high with a hanging man i always said the high priestess okay i always take his little scorpio but um again i'm hearing like let go of the letterhead i don't know like the lettering all of the I'm hearing the tuning in, the listening. I'm seeing like this clear, like cl maybe like meditate, Scorpio, maybe meditate here on not like, you know, whoa, should I send it, should I not? But I'm seeing it more so as like, what is it that is involved in the process of admitting this feeling that I have, that I hold? And it's like, you know, because I'm seeing that there's a little bit of, of like a heart palpitation space with the semantics of how you are even mentioning something. Okay, like I mean, I'm getting that it has to do with, I'm hearing strategy prone for a number of you, like you might actually work in a field of strategy and you want to get more into a space that's like, it's like, I don't want to write like novels and short stories. I want to write maybe poetry. Like, I don't know. I'm seeing that specifically for a number of you. But nonetheless, um, there's something that you perhaps feel like, oh, you know, perhaps in your work, okay, like perhaps in your work, there's this rhythm of working that makes, puts you a little bit out of touch with how you can kind of communicate what you're feeling. Like, I don't know, Scorpio, there's something about the psychology space of yes okay what what your work your work life is like this death card the father cups and the father swords you like there's something scorpio about the the cycle of how you have sort of um i'm hearing also like it, um i'm hearing i'm hearing carried this experience out that i'm hearing storytelling that has made you perhaps feel that I'm hearing you're not clear on it in some kind of way. Like, I don't know what that's alluding to, but I'm seeing someone who has a, like a, even a story, like a very clear storyline that they have experienced and felt through. But then when it comes to depicting it, it's almost as if 
they feel like, oh, I'm now like the teacher or I'm the critic of my own conversation. I'm hearing that's not really supposed to be happening up here, but it's happening here. And it's not really something that is, um, I'm hearing to be like communicated even, which is interesting. I'm seeing, okay, Scorpio, no. All right, let's get real clear here. For a number of you, I'm hearing this is something that you feel I don't want, I'm hearing to share this for a number of you. I'm hearing, I don't want to communicate this. I don't want to be the one who also claps my hands at the end of the conversation. Like, I don't want to be identifying myself with this space in a very open way. I'm seeing it as open here with the Sun of Swords. Like, for a number of you, I'm seeing you don't want to even make something official. You don't want to make something kind of like even legally, uh, I'm hearing advertised here with a chariot and the the, the justice card and the magician the chariot's in reverse and the justice card's in reverse magician is upright but i'm seeing that there is a very clear space of interest where you're like can i just be the magician who like has a program that doesn't air i'm hearing on television like what is up with that scorpio i'm seeing that there's a little bit of a i'm hearing a space of intention that you feel i don't want to dress up for it okay like as well for number you know always take as you will always in the hangman reverse ace of cups upright the ace of wands falling on the ground the ace of swords <laughs> Scorpio. Ace of Swords, right, flew out of the stack and it like kind of tumbled out. And instead of landing on the ground, it was suspended between my leg and the cord. Okay, like literally, again, fallen off into my hand. It, there's something about the representation of the space of emotion that is kind of, um, I'm hearing unfathomable to you in some kind of way and be this also the vision that you have of, let's say another how another may be kind of um moving towards you in a certain way it's like i feel their interest but i don't really i don't i don't know i'm i'm not i'm i'm, I'm questioning i'm questioning i'm questioning the 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 also i'm hearing the, the community response okay the way that let's say others might Okay, I'm hearing, um, I'm hearing orientation here with the hanged man and the son of pentacles, two of wands. Like, there's something that is just not clear here, the fool in reverse. Right beneath here, the hanged man, like, something that just doesn't, uh, ace of swords of right, mirroring here, the hanged man, the daughter of... Okay, some, okay, ten of swords and the ace of swords, the two of cups and the judge. Someone is wondering, you know, is it me who needs to kind of, like, be the one who stimulates this? You're, perhaps someone's wondering, should I, should I be the one who tells the story, like... But that's real weird, Scorpio, because I'm seeing that you don't really, I'm hearing you don't really want to um, even, I'm hearing like, wait for that answer, okay? I'm seeing you like kind of like, you know, posing it as a question, but that is kind of rhetorical. I'm hearing hypothetical as well. It's like, but the hypothetical situation doesn't apply here. I don't know what that is alluding to, but I'm seeing that there's a little bit of like even a multi-dimensional space of how you're addressing this environment or the situation or this person that's making you feel like you're in the envelope that you write about. I'm hearing it. Okay. Like, oh, again, this is a little bit abstract, but I'm seeing you're kind of like, it's like there's something that you feel you're you're not really getting the full view on, okay? With the Six of Cups and the Hangman, I'm mean, seeing it as almost even cyclical, where you might bob in and out of this, like, feeling of, wow, you know, it's everything, and it's all possible, and, you know, I'm hearing... <clears throat> I'm hearing it's it's what I feel again. It's what I feel, and yeah, I'm hearing it's so valid when I'm connected to that space of emotion, and uh, it makes me also feel that I know what I'm creating with it, with that feeling. But then, it's like there could be this sort of trickling down of energy. I'm hearing specifically, and be this related to a for number of you a certain space that you feel just really affects your energy levels, and be that your career space, your workspace, something that you feel like I. When, whenever I enter into this into this space, it makes me feel like I lost touch with who I really am. Okay, now whatever that is, uh, I'm hearing Sagittarius, Aries. I'm hearing Aries strongly. Like someone, be it even a situation or some kind of conversation or some kind of even part, it could be a part of your chart, Scorpio. That every so often, like you activate. Okay, so feel free to go look at your first house. What's going on there? What's cusping your first house by way of sign, planetary placements? And if this is of interest for you, if you want to take a deeper dive with your chart, we can do that. We could do that, Scorpio, one on one together uh, via a private uh, report um, and even a mentorship session. So if that's of interest to you, and as well of reading, if you'd like to let's say overlay um, your birth chart with um, 
matters of, uh, of, of, of uh, energetic channeling in its current state, we can address that via a private service and you can book directly via the link in the bio box below. And the live reading is not okay. Feel free to email me as well. If you have any questions, we can kind of work through there as well. All right, alchemyandyou at gmail.com, Scorpio. Now I'm hearing Pisces strongly. Again, if you, oh, I'm not gonna emphasize this. If you would like to email uh, with any questions, okay, well, let's say there's something that you're interested in, you're wondering, you know, can we work on, you know, kind of a certain way of also addressing a certain in experience, um, but specifically related to your gifts, your talents, abilities, related to your birth chart, Scorpio, uh, feel free to email me at alchemy at .com, okay? Now let's get back to it, Scorpio. I'm seeing that for a number of you. I'm hearing that song by Al Green. Let's stay together. And that's not the rhythm. <laughs> okay, but um, I'm hearing it's it's the revelation. I'm hearing of what we're feeling and what we are wanting. Now I'm seeing someone here does not really want to. I mean, oh, Son of Cups and the Father of Cups together, right over the star. And the star is in reverse, mirroring here this Four of Cups in reverse. Um, and the strength card in reverse, like someone here, it's a matter of revelation physically. Okay. It's a matter of representation physically. I'm not seeing the star in reverse as like, it's not meant to be. I'm seeing it as actually a matter of, uh, I'm hearing, um, motivation. Okay. It's like, when is it that we are aligned frequentially? I'm seeing it as a matter of energy specifically. I'm hearing chakra work as well. Scorpio, there's something that perhaps you feel it's like, again, I bob in and out. I'm hearing I'm on and I'm, I'm off. I, I'm hearing I, I, I walk and then and then I, uh, I wake up. I don't know again what that's alluding to, but something that you feel is even cyclical where you're like, I don't know. I'm hearing, I, I, again, it could be related to that part of your chart related to Aries. Yes. Okay. Now there's something about the consciousness of this experience that has really be, I'm hearing been taking on a certain, uh, I'm hearing like trail here with the sun of cups right over the devil. Now for a number of you, I'm seeing there's something here that has been affecting your energy levels. I'm seeing perhaps as you might be feeling it, or you feel like I am uh, channeling my energy in certain ways. Now, what does it mean to be affected by something? What does it mean to kind of uh, hold that effect uh, consciously? Okay. I'm hearing over ourselves, whatever that may mean. For a number of you, you could be getting into a certain experience or situation specifically with the Pisces that you feel is um, very much, I'm hearing powerful. And I'm seeing for a number of you, you're like, what is this? I'm hearing that I am feeling. What is this? this i'm hearing as well that i am uh, like i'm hearing um i'm hearing uh i'm hearing like per, i'm hearing having a vision of i'm seeing for a number you're having like some kind of vision i don't know you're having dreams like there's something that is kind of um making you feel also like polarized a little bit but i'm seeing in the way but in relation to your one second scorpio <laughs> going deep deep here scorpio you're filming this right on the full moon in your own sign full moon in scorpio powerful energies okay now the way i'm seeing it for you is it's like this i'm hearing inversion here with the hangman in the world it's like there's something that perhaps is coming out now what does that really mean i'm seeing that this is a matter of what we've been experiencing and how we how how it is that we are acknowledging the experience of the father of wands for me this has to do with what you are feeling physically also desirous of and what you see and this could be again on a professional level you may want to again take a look at aries in your chart where's your mars placement sign and so on and so forth and uh, as well the first house what's going on in your first house whatever it may be again for you specifically scorpio i'm seeing that there is a focus on understanding how we see ourselves evolving in that space okay now this is not an easy path Yes, it is a matter of passion, but it's also a matter of purpose. And the feeling might be that we want to have kind of both there, right? Like we don't want to feel like we're just jumping into something. Here comes the nine of swords right then and there. There's perhaps a space of um, feeling a little bit confused in terms of how we see the synthesis space of our physical even desire and our, uh, I'm hearing our moral system. Okay. I'm hearing also, uh, our, I'm hearing our, I'm hearing our, I'm hearing, um, meditative abilities. Again, I don't know what this alluding to, but someone here I'm hearing, are you like feeling like I'm seeing someone feeling that there is I'm hearing a long timeline as well that they need to move through before they officialize something like their participation in something I'm getting as well. 
Okay. Uh, whatever it is, Scorpio. <laughs> Love and light to you here. Enjoy this period. Thank you so much for tuning in. And yeah, I'm hearing you. There's a really strong connection here. Specifically, if you're dealing with the Pisces, I'm hearing they... I'm hearing... Like, you've been... You've, there's, there's something that has not been... I'm hearing, like, possible. I'm hearing to let go of. And, right, in every way. I'm hearing, like, there's something that perhaps you feel like is still even... I don't know, like, I'm hearing you listen to them, I'm hearing you listen to their show. I'm hearing in the shower, <laughs> I don't know what that's going to do, but... Scorpio, again, it could be your own energy, but I'm seeing, like, there's something of even, um... I'm hearing, like, it's someone, oh, okay. <sighs> Whatever this energy is, it's like, I'm hearing, there's, there's, there's some... If this is a person, it's like you see so many different ways that you could work with this energy I'm hearing as well. But at the same time, Scorpio, it's like there's this feeling of um, there is the active space that, that, that addresses this dynamic that we feel. And it's a little, it's a, it's a tricky space. I'm hearing specifically to navigate through because on one hand you're intimately involved in it, but then on the other hand you might feel that you're playing a role that is outside of or kind of objective to this interaction. I'm hearing this interactive space. It's saying the way that you could just be Scorpio it could be like your own energy in the way of that you know you feel like you're emotionally involved in something, but then you're also kind of detached from it by way of how you are perceiving of it okay thank you so much for tuning in i'll give the light to you enjoy this period scorpio of course enjoy right and always huge personal intuition <laughs> and whatever it is that you feel guided to watch further on as well and whatever you feel may resonate within this certain reading whatever you feel kind of is coming through and speaking to you enjoy this period again i'm hearing clear i'm hearing throat and air i'm hearing ear chakra as well there could be again always uh, again huge personal intuition whatever you feel guided as well to watch further thank you so much for tuning in scorpio love and light to you all here and huge personal intuition i'm not going to mention that again whatever you feel guided to connect with as well on the it's kind of on the on, on the concept of enjoy again huge personal intuition score it's like coming over over and over over again here for you there's something here there's something here scorpio specifically it has to do with your intuition i'm hearing with what you've been involved in emotionally that you've been feeling it's like i can't i'm here i can't just like let go of it okay i'm hearing i can't even in the way of i'm hearing how i realize that there is not in it i'm hearing to let go of even okay like it's like yeah it's like real twisted like that scorpio <laughs> okay it's like really and i feel these energies i get it okay there's a little bit of like a, a space of uh again perception that we're like where are we i'm hearing w where are we i'm hearing what what are we doing i'm hearing where are we and what are we doing and what are we talking about i'm hearing as well the end of the day now okay scorpio i'm seeing that there is this cycle Okay, I'm hearing you're coming, you're coming full circle here, okay? It is a boiling point, I'm hearing, of attraction. That's what I'm feeling here, specifically with the hangman, the star. It's like there is a certain bubble here that bursts. Now, what I'm getting here is coming through, Scorpio, for a number of you, is the recognition that we are not responsible, okay, for this space in some kind of way. I'm seeing it as like, I don't, I don't, uh, when I, when I, when I think about it in a strategic way, when I start to address it as that, that's when I get caught up in my head. And for a number of you, this has to do with how you are also publicly communicating something, even to a community. And that makes perhaps you or someone or a number of people feel that there is more to the storyline, like that there is more to how we address this. For a number of you, I'm seeing that this has to do with how you kind of associate this feeling space or this connection with a certain concept, like an actual term, like how do I, what do I, what do I, what do I label it as, right? It's like, that's the kind of feeling I'm getting. All right, Scorpio, always take it to you all again, always a matter of perception, term, interpretation, personal perception and personal interpretation. Enjoy this period. Thank you all so much for your dear support energetically above and beyond all. Thank you for tuning in, for connecting to you, Scorpio. Enjoy this period and uh, always, um, again, I highly recommend to check out your rising sign or moon sign and uh, 
I got a huge personal intuition, Scorpio. It's coming through again, again, again. All right. Thank you so much again for tuning in. Love and light to you again. You may find that there is a further insight for you into matters of partnerships, relationships by way of watching. I'm hearing Aquarius specifically. I'm hearing that specifically. I haven't done the Aquarius reading yet, so we'll run into that eventually. I'm hearing specifically the Father of Cups and the Son of Swords. For a number of you, I'm hearing you're waiting on information. There's something that you want to get like an answer for real clearly, okay? I'm seeing that it's something that you want to come down to. You want to like clarify, all right? So whatever that is, again, it could be focused on the archetype of Aquarius. I always think as you will enjoy this period. Thank you so much again for tuning in, for tuning in to you, love and light. And thank you so much again, all of you for your dear support energetically above and beyond all. Thank you for tuning in. Bye, Scorpio.